Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can build a base from scratch. All you need is a saw, hammer, a bunch of nails, and also a hell of a lot of the logs. Furthermore, you also need a certain amount of skill in carpentry. Now, generally, you're going to want to aim for at least seven, but you can get past with six. However, you can't do certain things. So the first thing you're going to want to do is get a lot of logs, which means you will need an axe. So chop down trees in the area and bring them over to your base location. Normally you, you might not have them in log stacks, however I have just storage. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to saw the logs. To do this you need a saw in your inventory. Just quickly before we start, if you do find this tutorial very useful and helpful and you're going to use it in your own playthroughs, consider subscribing and helping me reach 5,000 subscribers. Enjoy the video. So we've done all those. Okay, so we're going to want to grab us some planks. So grab yourself a backpack to put these in. You're going to want to open some boxes of nails. So I'll open two. There you go. That's a few to start with. Now there are two ways you can do this. You can place the floors first or the walls first. I prefer to place the floor first so I can see the entire kind of um, skirting and outline of the actual base. Okay, so now that we've made this square foundation, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to start building wooden wall frames around it. When you get to corners, you're going to want to click R so you can rotate to which way you want the wall facing. And here's where you've got to decide where you want the door. Now I've put the door in this bottom kind of right corner. So you're going to want to grab some more planks and then more, probably more nails and you're going to want to right click on the walls and click build level three wall. And this is why you need level seven in carpentry. You can build level 2 walls, however, they will be less of quality, they will look worse, and also zombies will be far, far more likely to break them down far easier. So now that we're done, what we're going to do is we're going to add a door frame in this doorway. Okay, and now the next thing to actually build the door is we're going to need planks but also doorknobs and door hinges. So the best way to get this is to go to a nearby house where there is doors. However, to dismantle a door, you need a screwdriver. So grab yourself a screwdriver first before you head out. It's good to get quite a lot, so just stock up on them while you're here. Saves you a trip back later. Okay, so now we're back. Slap down that wooden door. And bam, done. So you may be wondering, wow, uh, done, base ready. You're missing one thing, a roof, and this is awkward to do. So this is also why you need level 6 in carpentry, because you need to be able to build stairs to get up there to then access the roof. So, place yourself some stairs, and now be careful because obviously you're going onto a second floor now. Do not go near the edge and fall off because you're probably going to be carrying a heavy load. So, you know, be careful, so don't do that, because you, you can die if you fall from a height and you have a heavy load. So get up top and start placing wooden floors down wherever you've built. Okay, so now that we're done, we've built a box. And now that box is yours, it, it's your house. You've made a house. Um, I'll be showing you how to do more things and add more things to it because currently there's not much to it. Those stairs there, I would actually recommend leaving there for a while because it's always good to be able to get up onto the second floor and just have a little look around. Uh, now I'll show you how, if you want, to build an extension onto the house. So once again, build the floor plan out. And then once again, like I did with the, the original first box, build your wooden wall frames all the way around, R to rotate on the corner, and place all those in. And once you're there, just place wooden walls in all of the wooden wall frames. Okay, so now we're done. And the reason why I wanted to leave the staircase there is now it's far, far easier just to walk up there and place down wooden floors to instantly roof it. Okay, and now once it's all roofed, we have to then go back inside into the building. So you're gonna to wanna to right click on the wall, go down to dismantle and hover over and find the right icon. Or you can do it this way, 
Just make sure that it's the wall that's highlighted and not the floor. And done. You've given yourself an extension. Now this is replicable. You can go to anywhere else. You can build up further back. You can build sideways. You know, you can do anything now. You know how to do it. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to put a second floor. So what you're going to do is you want to count how many tiles it takes for a stairwell. So you want to count one, two, three, four, five. So you need five tiles to get up, basically. However, you only need to break three, which is the actual stair. And the top tile is just basically a floor tile. So you go, you pat one, then you break the two. Break the three. Break the four and leave the five. So if you've done that right, go back down into your building and place yourself some stairs and you'll see that if you've done it right, there you go. You should place it. You can't place it any closer to the wall because it needs that first tile. So, done. And voila, you have your staircase up. Now what you can do now is you can destroy this staircase on the side. And for this you will need a sledgehammer. So you have to find yourself a sledgehammer to do this. If not, it's fine to leave. It's not a problem. Just make sure that it's a bit more secure. Okay, and now obviously you're going to want to build a room up here. So start again with your wooden wall frames. Build those round. I'm decided I'm going to leave a bit of a balcony area. And that's for future designs because I'm going to show you what you can do with, you know, building your own base. It's it's a great mechanic and tool. But then what, I'm going to add some windows to the space because obviously it's second floor. Zombies can't grab you. I don't recommend putting windows on the first floor because, you know, zombies can break those very, very easily. I've also decided I'm going to put a doorway here. So that goes out onto the balcony. Okay, so now we're out on the balcony, we want to build ourselves a door frame. Get yourself the necessary materials to make a door and slap that down. There we go, you got yourself a little balcony. It's a bit unsafe at the moment, but that's okay. So here comes a bit of a tricky bit. To do the roof for the second floor, you have to put a staircase up. And this is why I left the balcony, because it makes it far, far easier. So you go up. Build across to the building. And now just fill in the roof. Okay, now that we're done, what I love to do when I build my own bases and do a base like this is I love to build a farm on the roof and I love to put rain collectors on the roof. It basically makes the base fully sustainable. So what I would do is I'd go up to the top floor, place a fence down somewhere, slap a sheet rope on there or an escape rope, and you have a way up and down. And now what this allows you to do is to remove the staircase but still get up and down. I would then fence in the balcony just for added safety because I don't want to fall off of this because yeah if you're carrying a heavy load it's game over. And then as you can see here I just climb up the sheet rope and I can still access the top roof. Okay and then for example let's place some water barrels up here. And then for safety again I'm going to be placing fences around the top layer. Now look at this you've got all the space up here you know you can make a farm up there you can get quite a lot of tiles worth of food. Now you're going to want to get curtains for your windows, so go find some curtains. You're going to pick up the curtains, don't just grab the curtains from the right click menu. Pick them up using the pick up menu, which you can see me using here. Then you want to go back inside and simply right click on the curtain in your inventory and place it on the window. Now, as you can see here, you have a fully functioning base that you have made yourself. I love this mechanic so much in Fruits and It's one of my favorites to do. So, you know, you've got yourself quite a nice space. You can add, you can add a garage onto here, you know. You can do a lot of things you want to do. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you did enjoy, please consider subscribing and help me reach 5,000 subscribers. Furthermore, let me know what you think of the base. And if you want any other tutorials, let me know in the comments. See you next time. Bye.